In this video I'm going to be making the chamber and platform of the forge. First I laid out the top of the cone on a piece of sheet metal. Scorched a bit of steel somewhere and tried to see if I could heat the steel with a propane torch in air. It sort of worked but uh, wasn't very efficient. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't look stupid, but at least I won't have to live with it. Cutting off the excess so I can reach far enough with the drill press to drill the tabs. The plate was mounted to a board to stop it from moving around. I tragically only had two of those discs. New plan was to mount a table to the jigsaw. This was slow going. Cutting fluid and vibrations obscured the faint line, so when I cut it out I played it safe, uh, I had a fair bit left to file off as a result. Now the other sheet metal used for this came from an old oven I've been butchering, this panel's from the door. I really just wanted the oven for the brass aluminium that might be inside of it, but I can find all kinds of uses for its parts. Wasn't able to get a roll of havers going. Next was laying out the bottom of the cone. The paint on the oven door was pretty thick and tough, so I had a hard time scratching it. It was cut out the same way as the top. Well, like it jumped a few times when cutting it, but here it really got stuck. Didn't want to let go of it in case it escaped. It was a bit of a fiddle trying to find the switch with it like this. I guess these missing teeth cause it a jump. Being the only blade, I kind of had to continue with it. it. Would take it a bit slower. If I had to do this again, I might go out and buy a jeweler saw instead. It was then filed up to the line. Cutting out some strips of steel from the bottom of an old toaster. Things will become the tabs to hold the bottom lid on. The corner itself is cut out as a sort of sector of a circle, with the outer radius being 608mm. I needed some kind of large divider to mark this and decided to make one on a bit of aluminium tubing. It was supposed to be a quick and shoddy job. I made it so shoddy this happened. It all seems to be holding together this time. Now I'm setting the right distance, aim for about 608mm, but setting for a little above. Made a dimple in the desk for the centre point. The weights in the corners will hopefully be enough to stop the sheet from slipping. Being a shallower curve, I could get away with using the angle grinder to cut this out. Really shouldn't be wearing this shirt though. I had a look at the day when I got upstairs. Uh, polyester would be bad news if it caught light. Yeah, that's more like it. A couple of shims keep the pipe off the bench. I 
wasn't really too confident in bending it freehand, so I decided to mark uh, some equally spaced lines to keep the kinks even. Honestly, I was sort of surprised when this worked out doing it by hand. Well, it's pretty close to round to start with, but there's a few bits that needed knocked into shape. Here I'm marking the holes to attach the top. I used the 2x4 and a few wedge shaped offcuts to jam it in place to support the drilling. I did a couple of holes first just holding it by hand, but it was a little too uh, close for comfort. Attaching the top was a real fiddle. A couple of holes didn't quite line up right and reaching a screwdriver inside the cone was pretty awkward. And once the top was on I gave it a bit of a hammer to close the gaps. And then holes were drilled to close the cone with. The bottom ring was fitted in a similar way to the top. And that's the cone itself more or less completed. Next was the part for mounting the cone to the frame. I'll start off by cutting off some small bits of steel box section. And then firing them square. This part needs fine to an angle to match the cone. Then I weld it on tabs. Here's a bit of box section I could have strips of steel weld on the inside. Which fit the arm like this. The two halves are now plumb enough to weld together. Then took a bit more fiddling to attach the thing to the rest of the cone. Now I'm laying out the platform. It's all went a lot quicker than the rest of the cone since I more or less knew what I was doing now. I noticed magnetic swarf sticking to the newer set of digital calipers. I guess at some point they stopped using stainless steel. I think both these sets were from Aldi. I neatened it up with a bench grinder, which wasn't a great idea in the first place, but I should have wore gloves. The parts snagged the grinding wheel and it got shoved into my hands. Luckily the cuts weren't too deep considering how sharp the edges were. The edges of the platform were laid out, then cut out, then bent to fit the base, and then assembled. I decided to try a different way of holding the steel strips in place for welding, using a tapered wooden plug. It took a few attempts to make the fit right, and of course when I finally got it to fit the camera didn't focus right. The wood was smoking so much I decided to dip it in some water, which probably wasn't a great idea either. I'm surprised it didn't crack the welds or nothing. If you can even call them welds, they're about my ugliest ones yet. After drilling mountain holes, it was time to fit it to the platform. It was a bit flimsy though, so I stuck some steel bands on to try and rigidise it. And here's the cone.
platform could do a coming out forwards about a centimetre, but I'll worry about that some other time. Be fine for now. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me stumble through sheet metal work. Next, I'll be lining them with refractory. Thanks again for watching.